We've had a look at banking. Then we talked about lending. Now it's time to put a spotlight on savings and why this is so important for financial stability. To kick off, let's understand what savings are. In a nutshell, it's the money you don't spend every month to rather keep it safe. This can be done in a bank account, pension plan, or investment. Usually, this money will earn interest, helping your money grow with inflation. There are also other informal ways to save. So what exactly is interest? Well, it's the money you earn when your savings are invested or kept in a bank account. The interest rate refers to the percentage that your saved money or investment earns in a year. There are also other important terms to understand, such as inflation, which is the extra money that you need each year in order to buy the same things as the year before. This is because the cost of living is always increasing. Another term is compound interest. This is when the interest you earn is reinvested. Now you will continue to earn interest on the original amount plus the interest previously earned. Have a look at our handy table to see how this works. Lastly, the term return on investment. This is the amount of income that an investment provides in a year over the investment period. So what exactly are the different ways to save? The most common way is a savings account with your bank, which is an easy way to earn interest and access your money. There's also a retail savings bond, an investment that allows you to earn interest over a set time period. Other ways include a money box where money is kept at home and doesn't earn interest. Or money stamps, which can be collected and used to buy groceries. The Stockfell, a proudly South African way to save, allows members of the Stockfell or savings group to pay a set amount every month. Some Stockfells have one member of the group receiving the total amount contributed by the group, while others distribute the money after a long period or use the money saved to buy items that the members need. There's also an option of lay-by. Here you purchase something on credit without interest but can only take the item home once you've paid for it in full. It's important to make saving an important part of your life. Without extra money, this feels like an impossible task. But if you examine your spending habits, you can identify areas to cut down every month. You will need to change these spending habits, like bringing your own lunch to work for example, in order to free up money for saving. Paying off debts also makes more money available. Next, add your potential savings together like this. This will give you a goal to work towards. Now you can look at different accounts or investments that will help your savings grow over time. Finally, create a personal savings goal by asking yourself, where do I want to be in five years? Use this to keep you focused. That's it for our spotlight on savings. Financial literacy is power. The power to secure the future that you deserve with Streetwise Finance by Hollard.